This lesson is going to demonstrate how to take a colorful image and isolate one part of the image so it stands out while everything else is desaturated or grayscale. Take note of how these images of before and after are shaped like squares because that's going to be a big part of this demonstration. So we're going to go ahead and open up Pixlr. When this window loads, choose Open Photo Editor. We're going to open image from computer and then locate the image that you want to manipulate. So I'm going to go ahead and open this image and I want you to take note that this is not a square. So in order to make it a square, we are going to click on the Marquee tool. Go to the top where it says Constraint and choose Fix Size. Now it gives you the dimensions of the image. So obviously to make it a square, you're going to change the width in this case to 427 because that's what the height is. If you didn't know if that those dimensions were not provided, you would go to Image, Image Size to see those dimensions. So go ahead and click down, move the marquee until you're happy with what's inside of that marquee. Once you're happy, you choose Image, Crop. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'll choose File, Save. I'm going to call this one Woman 1. I'm going to make sure it says JPEG and I'll go ahead and set it to 100. I will then click OK. Double check that in the file name it does say J dot jpg that's really important and then click save now what you want to do is use the lasso tool I'll go ahead and click on the lasso and just maybe set it to a zero feather at this time you want to come in and select her as best as possible it's okay if you go outside of her image because you can always erase that later so with that rough selection I'm going to choose edit copy and then file new new image go ahead and say OK and then do edit paste Return to the original image, and I'm just going to go ahead and click anywhere on that image to get rid of that selection. And now I'm going to choose Adjustment, Desaturate. I will then return to the colorful image that we just selected and co copied, and in the Layers window, you can see it over here, I'm going to drag and drop it onto that layer. I'll use the Move tool to move her. Now if you wanted to make sure you were totally lined up on top of the background image, you would go to the Layers image and click on this little arrow here that says Toggle Layer Settings and change the opacity a bit. You can see it's a little blurry so it's not lined up so you want to move it around. Now it's no longer blurry so it looks like it's exactly on top of the background layer. I'll go ahead and change the opacity back to 100 and now what you're going to do is use the Eraser tool. But before I do that I'm going to zoom in so I get really close to the image. I'll hold the spacebar to move the canvas and I will start erasing. And you might need to come up and change the eraser up here. You can experiment between the feather or the hard edges. Now obviously if I come in here, I'm going to do Control Z or Edit Undo, you're going to have to change the brush size to get close in. If you want to be a perfectionist, I like to do things right. So I'm going to go ahead and keep changing the brush size and working around this image. So I've been using the hard edged brush and I'm deciding that when I get close to the hair I want to apply a feather and I'll try a smaller feather and just barely brush up against her hair because the hair is, is, is kind of feathery in itself so we're gonna come in and get as get as much of that out as possible you're probably gonna have to change the brush size to something really small to get in in here so when you're ready to view it if you think you're done so I've got some cleaning up to do here. So let's go ahead and see what we have. I'm going to go ahead and choose View Actual Pixels. So I need to clean up around the hair a little more. When you are finished, you're going to choose File, Save Again, Rename it Woman 2 in this case. Set it as a JPEG at 100%, say OK, and make sure that the .jpg is there when you name it in that folder. That's a really important step. This concludes the session on making part of an image grayscale while keeping the rest colorful. Until next time, you have a fabulous day.